You're listening to Mondo Cool, the only Dragon Ball movie podcast that gives you a Zenkai boost. That's right, boys. Mondo Cool. What's up, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another great edition of Mondo Cool, your monthly Dragon Ball movie review podcast. I am your wonderful host, KZ Excellent of KZExcellent.com. With me, as always, are two Dragon Ball Super fans, Dan and Bob Video Games from Gigaboots.com. Bob beers me. <laughs> no. <laughs> And Mr. Bills from Mr. <laughs> Bills Wild Ride. I'm an angel who's flamboyantly homosexual. <laughs> oh, okay. This is our podcast where we watch a Dragon Ball movie and we've been going in release order for forever. And this is all we do. <laughs> uh, and, and, and this it, is our lives. Uh, and I'm getting excited because we're like almost out and that feels fucking awesome. Uh, but you still have the chance to get on the, uh, on the very beginning. Get on the ground floor of these episodes coming out. Uh, feel, please tell us how that happens. Well, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash GB podcast. For as little as $5 a month, you get early access to this and our other anime podcast, Chugging Bleach. Uh, extended armchair dev and gamer permission premonitions when those shows force us to leave ideas on the cutting room floor. And a Patreon exclusive show, one per month, where you get to vote on what good or bad thing we have to watch and talk about. That's patreon.com slash GB podcast. And if you don't have any money, you can always help us out by telling your friends. And if you don't have any friends, you can go on a journey to defeat the Demon King and you will surely find many allies that you will learn to that will become your lifelong comrades. And then you can tell them about our podcast. <laughs> like an old Patreon. man Patreon.com pervert. Patreon.com slash GB podcast. Like an old man pervert, a pig pervert, <laughs> Are they gonna a be bald our, pervert. Our comrades or our Nakama? <laughs> What, no, Bob, they are different. Nakama is an untranslatable <laughs> super word. Kaizo Kufan sub in 2004 told me. Okay, just check it. Boku am very excited. <laughs> we, have, we have many Keikakus we set into motion as we started Mondo Cool. Uh, we are now approaching the 29th thing we've had. Uh, uh, 26, 26, 26. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, where are we at? How, how many of these are there? We're on our 38th one that we've had to watch for this program. We've been doing it for over three years. <laughs> but, uh, please don't say that. Uh, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of these, as you know, uh, for our Dragon Ball movie review podcast in which, uh, this will be like the second or third time we've watched a thing that is actually a film. Uh, but we've gone <laughs> through many eras, many exciting things. It's time for, uh, be the beginning of the new age of Dragon Ball films once they actually put into theaters that, that helped make another show. Uh, this time, we watched Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Or, as it's said in Japanese. <laughs> Thank you. Battle the the Gods. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the um, um, Gods. <laughs> Da beers. I think it is <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I I, I can say uh, I can say uh, I can say the, the 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 title they just didn't use because it's stupid. Um, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, God and God. Oh, oh yes, yeah, that's excellent. That. That's so good. Why why didn't they use it? This is the worst. <laughs> No, oh. it isn't. No, it isn't. This doesn't have a super incredible guy. It's not 18 <laughs> sentences long. If Goku can't do this, who will? See, here's the <laughs> thing. All of those read like a 1950s or 70s. No, 50. Like 1950s films trailer where it's just like, George Bailey is such a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want George Bailey Goku. <laughs> Nobody actually wants that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Ally to good, nightmare to you. Okay, maybe I do want it, actually. <laughs> I'm an enemy to cheesy-ass mofos like you. <laughs> well, it's it's time for me to do the thing I've uh, I've done only once so far in this podcast that's lasted over two years. Uh, summarize this great film that we watched. Uh, so, I have my notes here. Uh, they start the film by being like, yo, did you watch Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Uh, here's here's all the cool things they uh, they that Goku did because he's strong. <laughs> yeah, it was very cool. It got me hyped. It made me remember. Yep. 
And it's like uh, it, it looks bad because the because the models for the the styles for these movies is not very good. Uh, uh, yes, I I wish Yamamura retired earlier. Um, but they go. Uh, it's been four years since since Majin Buu was defeated. Uh, we uh, we go to the sacred world of the Kai's, where you have Kibito Kai, which is Supreme Kai with the the big hair that looks like it weighs eighty pounds, and the old Kai, uh, who is a sexual predator. But that doesn't come up in this movie, so uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, thankful uh, they they saved that for the legacy characters. Damn it, that's the pervert I forgot to bring up earlier. <laughs> 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 they're like, oh man, uh, uh, bad stuff's happening. Uh, we're we're getting like an early awakening of of the the god of destruction. <laughs> an ancient evil's awakening, you uh, say? The, yes, the, the an ancient evil is awakening. Uh, as as I remember, he was first being pronounced when this movie was starting to uh, come together. Bills. Or mm -hmm. as they call it, uh, Beerus. Or as our subs gave us, Beers. <laughs> uh, Beers. Yeah. He's, he's gonna be waking up. Uh, Goku's hanging out on King Kai's planet. I don't know why King Kai's planet's back, but I guess I appreciate that it's back. It's okay, they give us a line later on, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Goku has a really funny tracksuit that has the fucking King Kai's, like, training symbol on it, so I, I yeah, see, it's like, really good. he has, like, a brand, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cool that he had the live, laugh, love tracks. <laughs> uh, King Kai exposits to Goku about things about gods and whatnot and, and gods of destruction. Uh, Goku's like, that's cool. I would I would like I'd like to fight a god because that's all I do. <laughs> I just want to fight like my someone whole character. Cool. And like King Kai's like, oh, no, you can't do that, Goku. I, I shouldn't have told you, but I told you. Anyway, even uh, though I knew this would happen because this literally always happens. Uh, yes. Uh, I appreciate that because I like hearing uh, Sean Schimmel's King Kai yelling all the time. So I'm actually a big fan of all of that. Wait, is Schimmel also King Kai? Yeah, yes. that's, the, that's what makes it so funny. <laughs> yeah. So this whole sequence is him talking to himself. Yep. He's always done that, too. <laughs> it's a pretty convincing voice. I, I feel like most people don't notice. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, had, I had no idea. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I believe during the explanation of this is the moment where, where he's like, okay, I'll finally tell you what's going on. Goku, get in my CG car. Yes. We will yeah. drive around the smallest planet in the world. And I'm like, this is the funniest it's ever been. Yeah, no, that, that's strong. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, this is the moment I'm like, I'm glad the CG looks bad. <laughs> because it makes this look so good. It was yeah, there's a lot of bad looking CG in this. Uh, <laughs> this, is my, this might be the best looking CG in the movie. <laughs> yes, the car uh, might be the best looking CG in the film. Uh, yeah, don't worry. We'll point out every other instance because it knocks you on your ass when you watch it. Uh, the, the, the Supreme and Old Kai are wondering how many plants are going to get annihilated. Now the God of Destruction's woken up. So we, we, we flash on over to, uh, to Beerus' planet, which uh, looks cool. Um, Wiss is, uh, is like, hey, hey you, your alarm bombs are going off, which are giant floating hourglasses that just explode whenever it's time to wake up. Uh, they, they, they do, they do a lot of things of, look, he, he's a cat. He's going to do cat things for the next, like, uh, 90 seconds. As, as it's he's, pretty good. As it's his thing. I, I enjoy beers because he's El Palazzo from Excel Saga. <laughs> And that, that man basically didn't have a career again until this, I feel like. Yeah, I think there's it a feels huge like, gap. Yeah, I feel like he was Il Palazzo, and then there's a giant void. And then he's Beers, and I'm like, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm very happy for him. He does a great job here. <laughs> yeah, he's fantastic this, in everything. This is, this is definitely, like, the first big role I feel like he had gotten since. Yeah, because he's one of the Cromartie high guys, but that doesn't... <laughs> Like, come on, <laughs> that's that's actually like, a he, he didn't for even he didn't even get into games until he was Beerus. Yeah, like, you look at his yeah. game credits, and they're all after after Beerus showed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, Beerus has been sleeping for thirty nine years. He's woken up earlier than expected, but apparently this was because of because of some some prophecy or whatnot that he was uh, that he was heard or was concerned about. Uh, he then begins eating food and then is caught up on what happened uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, as we find out that he is deeply integrated in every event of Dragon Ball yeah, Z. Yeah, they do it's the. So they bad. do the. We have to make this. 
they pulled some the bond. Of it's fine. <laughs> some of it is fine. Like I like that Beerus destroyed King Kai's planet. It, you like it used to be huge. Yeah, yeah, that part's kind of neat because I, I like integrating with other gods, but he didn't need to know Frieza. That's dumb. <laughs> well, yeah, for him, him really important, Bob. <laughs> I mean, I, I like that Frieza's... I, I like the idea that, like, yeah, Frieza is just from this race that lives forever and is ungodly powerful, so it makes sense that Beerus rates him highly, but then it's stuff like, you know, I told Frieza to kill the Saiyans. I'm like, fuck you. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That, he that's, that's, <laughs> and, they, and they know that was a bad because they, like, never addressed this point ever again. <laughs> yeah, no, because it, what's superior to it is uh, Lord Shield telling his family to kill all Saiyans and be afraid of them. Yeah, that was, that was way better. <laughs> that is <Yep>. way better. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, defi it definitely makes more sense. Uh, but yeah, they go into that. They're like, oh yeah, but Frieza's already dead. He he, he died while you were asleep uh, to to a guy named Goku. He, he became a Super Saiyan, and that was that that, that was cool. And then uh, and then and then Beerus go looks at Goku being Super Saiyan. Is like, why are you white? It's super weird that he he's caught off guard by this when it's like, but there's the whole legend of Super Saiyans, and you're an ancient god of destruction. Shouldn't you know? You seem to know about the Saiyans. This is all strange. <laughs> Very select knowledge well, slice. A, a lot of the like a lot of the god like god of destruction lore is like in this is like really harshly retconned in super anyway because they come up with all new shit. Of course. So I guess it make I guess it makes sense <laughs> that they screwed up. It makes sense. That it did make sense, and now it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it makes more it makes more sense. They got you know, the Saiyans. They have S cells. It makes them real strong. <laughs> Uh, uh, Beerus uh, consults with uh, the Oracle Fish uh, on on uh, on the, this prophecy that he was going to fight a mighty warrior uh, that would be a Super Saiyan god. So uh, Wis and and Beerus decide to uh, track down the remaining Saiyans uh, that are on that are on Earth. I like that he well, he has to wake up early for the Super Saiyan God thing, but before he goes to bed, he tells Freeze to kill all the Saiyans. It's a good plan. <laughs> Please stop doing this, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so they decide to go to King Kai's planet first because that's where Goku is, Slayer of Frieza. Uh, let's see. Definitely the coolest thing Goku did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, certainly. Not all the other things that were in that super cut of his achievements. Uh, uh, it's like, <laughs> I I've heard, I've heard, and I have no idea. This is one of because people just make shit up about Toriyama. Yeah. Like, but what I have heard from semi-credible sources is that for the super movies, these two, the first two, he just had this weird thing where he only wanted to focus on the Frieza stuff and didn't want to address like Cell or Boo at all. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I'm like, That's, that sounds like something insane he'd do. So I, I fucking guess. You could, right? you could just make a movie that took place after Frieza, but okay. No. no okay. Well, no, the, the, no, no, he was so mad at Dragon Ball Evolution. He's like, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta bring it back. Oh, okay. You do you. Uh, meanwhile, on Earth, Bulma's throwing a huge birthday party. Uh, I believe this is the part where they zoom in on the entire set in CG, which they also do for the <sighs> Blu-rays uh, menu, and it freaked us out. It, it's so good. Why would you not do this? <laughs> <laughs> it looks just as good as uh, the, the city transitions in, like, the Spider-Man cartoon and the first Batman animated movie. Hmm. <laughs> It's yeah. a high standard. It's, it, yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, 1992. Uh, they're 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 doing their usual celebration, but Goku isn't there. Uh, Bulma starts bitching about it, saying, "I gave him a save the date for my birthday six months ago." I'm which, like, <laughs> which, you you're really a, like, why are you first? <laughs> first of all, I get like he has a family. I would be a little bit mad at them too, because you you know him, you know he's stupid, <laughs> and. And self-absorbed and mentally a child. Like, you couldn't be like, Gohan, make sure he fucking comes. Ooh. <laughs> well, he, like, like, Goku can teleport away. Gohan can't teleport to King Kai's planet. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Also, <laughs> since Bulma won't say it, this is her 45th birthday. <gasps> what? So it's a total lie later in the movie? Yeah, because in the dub, they're like, this is my 38th birthday. <laughs> Oh no! I have I I I know the timeline. This is fucking forty five years. Yeah, that makes infinitely more <laughs> oh, sense yeah, than thirty eight. That, that one seemed wrong. That's why when she yeah. says it, I later say, 
Uh, okay, so this is her uh, 10th, 38th birthday. Yeah. She's just That's decided pretty to much stop. Right. She stopped moving forward. Uh, we we cut over to King Kai's planet. Uh, Go, Goku's shitting himself because he realizes that he actually forgot about her birthday and is like, this is the worst. She's going to be so pissed. Yeah, she's going to be worse than the God of Destruction. Yeah, because King Kai's like, something horrible's happening. He's like, what's horrible in this? <laughs> And it's like the god of destruction, and then uh, King Kai's like, go hide in my house. <laughs> Nobody can sense energy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you can't sense them because God Key is different. I hate that so much about this movie. <laughs> can I talk about that real quick? Yes, of course you can. <laughs> I, I think it's fine to introduce a new enemy that's like incomparably powerful compared to Goku, but you can't just be like, oh, gods are like this, because every god in this universe has already been displayed to be a chump compared to Goku. <laughs> like, absolutely just, they are scared of him and anyone like PyCon. Yeah, but, no, but none of those are real gods. That's stupid. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's it is really stupid. stupid, because God Key is basically for the smallest group of people in the world. So they made this delineation, I don't know, to just make everyone else around them worse. They should have just been like, Goku. just like, I don't care how dumb it sounds, but I'd be more okay if it was, if it was like, he's got destroyer God key. That's a different kind of God. But they oh, don't no, even that's address also it. a thing. They don't that, that's even. That's also a thing later. <laughs> they don't address it at all here, though. It's just like gods are like this. It's like uh, King Yam is a chump. A uh, King Kai is a chump. <laughs> Elder Kai is a chump. You remember King Yama. <laughs> It's it's really dire. It's real bad. You, question, like question. there's so many different universes this, you can do. Oh, gods are different, but not this one. This is possibly <laughs> the dumbest version of we need to up the stakes on power levels. Yes, ever. it really is. They could have just said, "Oh man, their energy is like new and scary." Right. <laughs> but instead, they're like, "I can't even feel it." Uh, by the way, do you think the 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 fucking bodybuilder dudes in HFIL do they have God Key? Do you think? I I would assume no, they're just they're just Oni, so probably not. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's too bad. The thing you have to remember about Dragon Ball is that every single thing in it is from whatever movie Toriyama was watching as he wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so, like a regular manga artist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that does in fact seem like all of them. <laughs> Or it's something that his editor was like, change everything about this to this thing I want. <laughs> it's like, yeah. no. Okay. So Beers and Weiss uh, arrive on King Kai's planet. They do some, you know, they do some normal conversation type stuff. They talk about how the planet used to be big, but then then, then, then Beers destroyed it because he's a big baby. He lost at Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the manga explanation was just straight up Mario Kart. Yeah, it was Mario Kart. And the reason it's small now is because he, he left a chunk and King Kai got a shovel and carved it into the shape of a planet with the shovel. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that, that is great. Uh, Go Goku ends up going going out there. They do that thing where it's like you, you have to be like fancy and cordial to the important person. So they do that bit a little bit. Uh, it, it all leads into Goku challenging Beerus to a match after he's like, I don't know about Super Saiyan God, but could you fight me? That'd be cool. Uh, and then Beers is like, no one's ever done this to me before. Sure. Sure, we'll do this. And then Goku does the Super Saiyan 3 speech he did in the show again, where he just shows you every single one of his forms, and then he makes his uh, voice sound more sexual as he goes on. First, I start yeah, ambiguously racist. racist. <laughs> yeah. I get pretty racist. This. <laughs> and this <laughs> is a rally. This is me getting banned from Twitter. Ooh, whoa, your eyebrows are gone. <laughs> Every racist on Twitter has their eyebrows shaved off. That, that would be, that would be so really fucking good, funny. That'd be a really good way to suss them out. I mean, that would be really good if that was the new generation skinheads. Yes. It's just people shaving their eyebrows. Like, oh man, not only you like visible from 10 million miles away, you look like an idiot. Yeah, it's like, you know, before it was ambiguous, you could have just had hair problems and decided right. to go with a shaved head. Uh, now I know, <laughs> just off the bat, I know. Right? You see, that person over there is an ally, they have a unibrow. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> The pendulum sure does swing both ways, huh? Every action equal an opposite reaction. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no. 
So, so we get into this fight of Super Saiyan three Goku versus uh, Beerus. Uh, he get uh, Goku gets worked real bad. It's it's it is not a it is not a challenge at all. Uh, my brain completely overwrote this scene with the super version of it where they just couldn't that draw. That looks <laughs> even worse. Yeah, yeah, like this is already not good. Like this isn't yeah, a good fight Yeah, this already doesn't look very good. <laughs> but but that thing was like, we were given two and a half months to make this show. We are on fire. <laughs> and it's it, it, it just looks like that nightmare. Uh, but yeah, Goku gets worked. He's like, oh, that was that was rough. So Beerus and Whis leave uh, preparing to I, seek I, I out like the how, other Saiyan. I like how it was like, it's like, are we gonna fight out in the sky, infinite sky so we don't completely destroy someone's house? It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> we're we're just gonna completely fuck up King Kai's planet again. Yes, <laughs> yeah, they should have fallen snake way. That'd have been really cool, but no, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fucking dope. <laughs> uh, uh, King Kai, I believe in this scene goes goes over to Goku, who's like knocked out and waking up and everything. He's like, I told you. I told you this was this was the worst shit. <laughs> Which is just laughable because like King Kai, why would anyone tr trust you on this? Yeah, I, I, like you're always scared. So yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know why you would do this. You're like, oh no. You told, you, yeah, he you did this with Freeze and Goku's like, yeah, but I I beat Freeze's ass. It's like, <laughs> I'm like I don't really see why I should listen to you ever again. <laughs> and, and it was at this moment that the brain damage truly hit me during this movie because then Bubbles the monkey goes up to Goku and starts jacking him off and then gives him a sense to <laughs> Oh yeah, all right. He goes right. into his pants and he starts shaking it for what felt like eight years <laughs> until he finally pulled off the sensu bean. And then I just we just thought about Bubbles for the rest of the film. <laughs> Just showing up at random points just to get that done. King Kai, did you did you train your monkey to jack you off? <laughs> I'd rather not talk about it. It's <laughs> a personal question. <laughs> He's like, who else was gonna do it? The cricket? <laughs> The cricket doesn't exist, does no, he? No, the cricket doesn't. Like, I swear to God, they just don't care about him anymore. He's so much cooler. Well, that, well they, that, that was an anime only thing because they needed more oh stuff for God. Kai to train are, him. Are you? Oh, I did not serious. need to learn that shit. I feel like I've heard that before. It's, Maybe it's from Zeon. It's been made. I, it, it's been made somewhat official because they kept the cricket in Kai. Okay. Because it's like we because we have like nothing, and and I think he I think the cricket shows up at some point in Super. But originally, it was like they, they weren't fucking out. That's the thing the anime made up. That's that's like people learning that, you know, the manga of Bleach doesn't have those stuffed animals. <laughs> Crazy. So with, with Goku done for most of this movie now, we can now cut back down to Earth uh, and this uh, exciting uh, birthday party. Well, we get a really good scene of free, of a uh, Vegeta training first. Uh, yes, uh, show, show, showing that this is the I, only way to write Vegeta is to write him in in his cuck shed. I, I'm just like it's his wife's I, birthday, and he's doing the same training room he was doing like four years ago. Yeah, but this time he's pressing I, buttons I, on the machine instead of trying to yes, blow them up. I like I like that. I like that he's hitting buttons because it just has a center. This is the movie. If nothing else, I will always appreciate this movie for establishing the new character of Vegeta, the wife guy. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, they do go because hard on like, that. People he, love it. Yeah, I oh, yeah. Because he's like, he's like, no, oh, I, she won't make me anymore if I keep blowing them up. So now I just hit the <laughs> off button on them. I, oh wow! I didn't. I always took it just no. He he's learning control. See, no. that's where I was at. <laughs> no, it, I I'm with feel on this God one. He it. has to hit these buttons because she's tired of that shit. I also really appreciate the line in this movie of like, wait a second, you're you're the you're the most brilliant scientist in the world and the richest person, and he's like, I am. <laughs> like briefs. Oh yeah, and then his well, wife's like, well, I didn't know we were rich. <laughs> I know it's yeah. so fucked up. <laughs> uh, you know. There's a lot of problems with Dragon Ball Abridged, but the characterization of just every time Bulma's mom talks, her dad says, I, I didn't ask, I didn't speak to you, sweetie. It's like, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how her character is. Yeah. Holy shit. No, she also, as we established back in Wrath of the Dragon, despite being the richest woman in the world, she still makes Vegeta have a job. So, yeah, I, I, I totally believe that he's just like, I have to just hit the off button. Bro. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, we had we had that moment where, where Hercule went up to Dr. Briefs and said, get me another drink. You're wearing white. You must be one of the servers and not the guy who owns this entire lot. Uh, we had that happen. Um, 
it's at this point uh Beerus ends up uh ends up ends up arriving uh and uh, we enter the uh Vegeta shitting his pants arc of the film. <sighs> Yeah, because of course Vegeta also knows who Beerus is. Yeah, because uh, long <laughs> long ago Beerus went to uh, went to Planet Vegeta and was served a lovely banquet as uh, the greatest uh, cuckold of all of Dragon Ball. Vegeta's <laughs> dad is just on his like on his knees, just being dominated by this god, and uh, his, his his son in his awful outfit with the stupid cape is just like, oh, this is bad. You should bring the cape back. What are you talking about? <laughs> If Bulma wasn't there, I'm sure he'd be wearing the cape. <laughs> I'm, I think it's because he's like eight years old on that that it bothers me. <laughs> no, that's the perfect time to be wearing a cape when you're a stupid little shitty princeling. Yes. Uh, not sure. Fine, I'll concede. It's like, it's like, this is my cape. I got peanut butter and Joey on it. <laughs> <laughs> Vegeta's shitting himself. He's, he's talking with, uh, with Beerus. Beerus is asking about the Super Saiyan God. He's like, I have no idea about any of that. And then Balma shows up and he's like, my wife needs to stay away from this. This isn't good. And it's like, my wife is, my wife is, isn't good. It, it, it attacked. She, she's <laughs> rich and she's rich and smart and white. Uh, and that's a really bad white-coded. trifecta. Yeah, there's no helping here. Uh, but they, they do a back and forth. They do some like comedy thing of haha, Vegeta, Vegeta scared and stuff. And they're like, hey, you should join Beerus and Wish should join the party. Whatever. I, I like the He's, comments about, yeah, wow, Vegeta has friends. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that, that part is like, oh, geez. You, you're coming off more like an uncle. <laughs> which, which is a bit weird, but it's like, all right, sure, whatever. Uh, they show various festivities at this point, uh, like how Piccolo can sing karaoke and everyone's in pain. Which, that's just mean. I feel like Piccolo could do a good job. He has super hearing. Um, that does not mean he's good at singing. <laughs> no. True. He had to take over the role for Krillin. Krillin's like, okay, oh, I give God. this up. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> I remember that one. I think that was like uh, the Broly movie. Yeah, I think so. Because every one of these movies is actually the same movie. And this uh, has them all uh, doing a party. Uh, yeah, if you think about it, they're really just camping out in the backyard of the Brief's house. Um, That's true. We even have the good setup for the Oolong moment. I cannot <laughs> believe Wait, well, wait. Um, uh, Beerus starts breakdancing, and I thought that was cool. I mean, he's got some moves. Uh, so so they, they reveal that they're doing this this bingo tournament. And the prize, uh, among many uh, many different items, including what seems to be a a Nazi plane, uh, is a set of Dragon Balls. Fuck. <laughs> just just what this reveals about Bulma is so <laughs> telling. Yes. Where it's like, Kami specifically says he created the Dragon Balls to give people hope in the darkest of times, and Bulma's like, <laughs> they're a gift at my birthday party. Yeah, that'll get everyone to come to my party because they they might be able to get literally whatever they want. But don't worry, we're now in the absolute worst part of the new Dragon Ball stuff ever. Uh, Okay, so uh, meanwhile, uh, the Pilaf gang from original Dragon Ball, who have now turned into children based on a bad wish they made. Uh, off screen, off, yeah, off screen, off, off screen. Not, of per, not portrayed in any Dragon Ball content. Even now, they have never done like a manga one-off or anything because no one cares. Also, they're still here. They're sneaking into that the lead. Po- I mean, the, <laughs> that somebody to may care. be the most. <laughs> Bob's like somebody sure as shit better fucking care. This is like <laughs> half an hour of the movie. They bet somebody <laughs> better care. No, I meant they do. people don't care about their characters. I do. I think they're funny. I really, I really don't like where this plot thread goes later. <laughs> I think it's very, very fucking weird. Uh, yes, it does. Um, so they're they're sneaking in, into the party to steal the Dragon Balls. Uh, they're unrecognizable because they've turned to children. And who the fuck in this world will remember them? Uh, almost hardly at this point. Yeah, I think it's upsetting that. The, it feels like the only reason they would be here is so we can have a moment in this movie where somebody recognizes him. Like, this would have been a perfect point for Yamcha to do something in the movie of, like, oh, wait, <laughs> you're Pilaf. I remember that. Because he looks the same. Like, the other, the other two I could get somewhat, but mm-hmm. come on. That's just Pilaf. Somebody should recognize him in this movie. That would make this all of this 
pay off in some way. All right, all right let's be fair here, Bob. Uh-huh. They all look exactly the same, but smaller. I know. <laughs> yeah. no, not even a well, different see, haircut see, on my we... same outfit for Chew. <laughs> he, he still sounds like a Hannah yeah, Barbera but, but, character. But but yeah, he sure fucking does. <laughs> um, but uh, but you know, I don't know. Like, oh, there, there's a kid dressed in his ninja. Oh, well, kids are fucking stupid. <laughs> See, yeah. here, see, Yamcha couldn't Yam, Yamcha couldn't recognize him because Yamcha can't look at children because he just flashes back to all his failed relationships and how he's now too old to have children and he gets depression. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> we're both in the same headspace with why Yamcha wouldn't notice them. <laughs> Yamcha sees a kid and just has to immediately turn away. Yeah, <laughs> get another he's beer. Like, <laughs> he's like, I- I'm I'm 48 and I live with a cat. I'm gonna have more natty light. <laughs> so. So the dipshits have broken in. Uh, they've made it into the prize room that has the the, the Nazi plane. Uh, I think there was a boat. There's there are yeah, various there's castles. There's lots of just insane stuff. There's a lot of insane stuff going on in there, and of course the dragon. Yeah, Shu uh, like opens a box. And like there's hams in here. Oh yeah, that was the best part. <laughs> They're like, look at these hams. <laughs> uh. It's it's then that the uh, other really great Dragon Ball characters uh, begin showing up. Uh, Goten and Trunks, mm-hmm. uh, and they're like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck, this is this is really bad." Goten looks like Goku, so I just assume it's the same person. They just never grew. Uh, and it's like, well, we're not sure. And then Goten's like, "I'm going to piss now," and they're like, "Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> it's him." <laughs> yeah, the only difference is now he's wearing an awkward suit. But okay, yeah, that's... fucking his Conan cosplay over here. Yeah, that's, that's how he's uh, dressed I, up, I, a kid. <laughs> that's how you dress it's, up, a kid. Jesus, <laughs> it's really funny how my is about to pull a gun. One, my still has a gun. Yes, <laughs> yeah. nobody, nobody took that away. But but Shu's about to pull the sword. And I'm like, you you really think you have a sh- have a shot? You wouldn't do this against Kid Goku because you know he'd work you. Yeah, but there's some. But, they forgot about that part of the character. They remember that he's impossible to fight. But they're like, nah, nah, we got it now. But what if we stabbed him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never tried that before. <laughs> yeah, so then they do some, you know, they do some funny bits where they where they leave, but uh. Mai does this thing where she returns a, a diamond that she grabbed, but it was really they so start she, they start the unbelievably weird trunks my relationship. I get yep. there, <laughs> I'm getting there. They do the thing where it's like, oh man, he, she stole one of the Dragon Balls. Trunks is like, yeah, this should be my girlfriend, and it's like, man, eh, sure, man, you can go ahead and do that. And she's like, oh no, I'm slowly becoming a pedophile whilst being in the body of a child. This isn't. This isn't good because apparently, according to the wiki, at this point she's forty-one and also eight at the same time. <laughs> that that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize she that would make her younger than Bulba. Then yes. What? I'm consulting the wiki. Who knows how wrong this shit is? <laughs> Are you consulting a fan wiki? Yes, I am. I did. Hey, you know I that heard... teacher might be working for the Force Saint Beast? Uh, yes, the evil the evil teacher from Yu Yu Hakusho that's always mean to Yusuke is in fact really a demon that works for the Saint Beast. This is what the wiki told me. <laughs> I don't think we have a hard confirmation of any of the ages of these characters. We do for some, but not her. I don't think. Okay, whatever. She's like a middle aged woman that is now a child and uh, apparently is. Uh, yeah, she's be- at least she's at least forty. Yes, she is. She is beginning a, a beautiful relationship with this child. Um, okay, okay, wait, no. The wiki says uh, date of birth, age seven twenty seven twenty nine, which would make her four years older than Bulma, so forty nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Uh, they 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 start doing the um, start doing like the bingo tournament and everything. It's like, oh man, we gotta win the Dragon Balls, and then they notice, oh no, there's there, there, there's a Dragon Ball missing. That's that's not good. I don't know how that happened. Uh, Pilaf's a dipshit and immediately drops it as if like on cue, and the, and then they're like, okay, we're gonna create like some sort of hostage situation to try and get a bunch of money. Uh, <laughs> that they lowered the amount of money because no one is scared. <laughs> because literally, <laughs> literally no, <laughs> like everyone stone faced on that. And it was like you. You're seriously trying this, and they're like, "Okay, we'll take a hundred thousand zeti." You'd think that they would recognize anyone there. <laughs> Somehow, no one in the entire cast recognized them. Like it's bo- in both ways too. Not like even- no one in the entire cast recognizes them, and Pilaf and gang recognize none of the world-saving heroes. 
like Hercules even there. They should recognize someone. No, <laughs> they don't even not. recognize Piccolo, who they directly helped unseal or whatever. Right. Yeah. That's the part that got me, where I'm just like, not even like a Piccolo Daimao esque person, really? Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> okay. As it turns out, no. Uh, <laughs> absolutely not. We will not write anything. Man. We will not. That's what makes it charming. You know, they warned me, but I didn't realize just how much acid would fuck you up. <laughs> Uh, at this point, uh, Gohan wants to initiate what his favorite part of the movie, where he uh, becomes his superhero form uh, and attempts to uh, quell this hostage situation that he thinks is actually just a bit and says, uh, shoot me. Make sure to aim for my face. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Actually, this. no, he says, don't do anything weird by aiming for my arms or feet. Like he's trying to say, shoot center mass. Yeah, he's like center center mass. Yeah, and he's like do the whole clip too. We got we got to <laughs> be dramatic. Do the whole clip. Do the whole clip. So my does the whole clip, and he reflects all the bolts, and it's like I go. This seems like dangerous in, in, in an alarming way, but also he didn't know that that was a a real gun, which you know, which, uh, not knowing that a gun is loaded and real apparently happens all the time. So who knows? I mean, but, that's uh, that's a pretty go a Gohan core thing to do. It's really weird because you think that Gohan gets it, but apparently he doesn't get it at all. He does not. He does not. And that <laughs> shocked me how he didn't actually get it. Like he even says unload the whole clip. It's like, well, if you think it's some sort of fake gun, <laughs> then they're going to be there a while shooting BBs at you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what, like, fantasy world he lives in. Uh, it's at this point that they realize, oh, yeah, the, you reflected one of the bolts and uh, accidentally injured your wife. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that, I forgot about this scene entirely. Like, well, that it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Especially considering what we find out in a little bit. Yes. Yeah. It's like you could have caught the bolts, Gohan, if you, when you noticed they were real bolts. Yeah, Instead, you reflected them. Yes, because I'm pretty sure he did that in Fusion Reborn. He just catches all of them and then drops them. I mean, right in Roshi that. could catch Roshi could catch bullets back in OG Dragon Ball. A bunch of red ribbon guys unload on and he's like here's your bullets back yeah i was surprised fidel even took the shot like i thought that she was powerful enough no, even no she got married she got married so her power level went to high enough to fly and shoot energy down to zero <sighs> yep uh, uh yeah, that works. most of her power was punched out of her by spopovich uh <laughs> most importantly they needed to do this so that dende would heal her and then go oh i sense a baby in you because we can't like reveal that she she is having a child in a normal way <laughs> It has to be someone sensing another presence in her. She's yes. like, she's like, I haven't, I haven't told Gohan about how he forgot to pull out yet. Don't worry about it. Uh, then, then the the part that made me actually enjoy that this happened uh, is revealed when they're like, "Yo, uh, fucking, he reflected one of the bolts directly between Beerus's eyes," <laughs> which I'm like, that's actually pretty good. Beerus has uh, grown that unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> wants to be sure that people know what side he's on. Uh, he's, I, he's definitely an ally. <laughs> <laughs> the, he could even feel it. It's weird. <laughs> yes. I think it was because he was vibing. Because <laughs> it's like that thing in, in OG Dragon Ball Z, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. where, where Goku's been training for, for, for Cell. Right. And Gron's like, yo, you're so strong, you won't feel shit. And then he just throws a rock at Goku's head while he's sleeping. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's just like that. <laughs> Yeah, and even, in my head, in my head, it is now the w version that's fucked up and warbly. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only version I can remember. <laughs> yeah, that's the only part I hear. Uh, Beer is clearly ready to uh, blow up the Earth because a stray bullet hit him and annoyed him. Uh, it's at this point that uh, Vegeta did the meme uh, where <laughs> where he interrupts, goes up to the stage for the bingo, and does the fucking bingo dance. Yeah, he's like, no, God, I gotta protect my wife because I'm the ultimate wife guy now. And and he uh he, he does that. Uh, I still like that. I I forgot it went that long too. I was like Jesus. Yeah, it goes on a fucking while. Yeah, he, <laughs> they, they, they 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 you know they could have they could have made this movie thirty minutes shorter and lost basically nothing. Uh, yeah, especially <laughs> especially when we get to the end of this movie. Um, people were wondering why Vegeta's uh, acting fucking insane. Balma forgil forgives the the peel off trio for doing that stuff. Collects the collects the seventh ball um we then reach the most important part of the film clearly where beerus is informed uh that there is a delicious custard pudding i forgot this was the inciting uh, yeah, incident uh, it's so bad yeah. it, it is so fucking stupid it's that like I, the, I will it's never like the peak it. of toriyama it is where it's like th this is how he writes stuff now 
which is stupid comedy that he thinks is hilarious. Where he, um, uh, Beerus goes up looking for the pudding. It's like, uh, I'm sorry, that that was all we had. Uh, that one, gu- that one guy, that pink gentleman. Yeah, that pink gentleman. Uh, fuck, <laughs> uh, took all of them, and it was Majin Buu. And he's like, Hey, can give give me one of those? Wes tries to get another one. He's like, eh, Whatever, you have one. Just you give me one of those. Majin Buu's like, No. Then does uh the most depraved thing of licking all of them. It was <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's which, very boo. Which, which holy shit! I forgot how much I love Majin Buu <laughs> just from one one single moment. So, what kind of key does Majin Buu have? Feel? Do you know? Is it not God key? <sighs> it's not God key. It's um. <laughs> let me check this out. Uh, Kirby uh, key. <laughs> Majin Buu pisses me like the lore around Majin Buu pisses me off so me much. It's it's so Cause, upsetting because <laughs> it's like. It's like, oh, Bobbity made this big, freaky, super powerful thing, but they change it later to he just found it. What? And and currently, and currently, right now, it's somewhere in the ballpark of, mmm. How? This was the. Why would you change it? The whole bit was bibbity bobbity boo. I. Because I don't fucking know. Uh, and honestly, I I'm curious if he could turn beers into a cookie. Yeah, he immediately threatens him with that, and I'm like, oh, it's Finn, oh my god. He he probably could, but it would just be like when he did it to Vegito, and Vegito beat his ass as a candy. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. I'm a jawbreaker, but, but see, the strongest candy in the universe. We don't actually know, Feel, because God Key is different. <laughs> <laughs> we swear. <laughs> god Key is just built different so you know maybe only normal possible. maybe only normal key can do that yeah maybe nor- maybe god key gets this pressed by being a candy we're not sure we're not sure <laughs> yeah maybe yeah. maybe it changes it to cookie key yeah probably <laughs> uh vegeta tries to handle the situation utterly fails this is this is it this is the part where beers is just going to become a problem uh boo goes after him tries to tries to fight him off jobs uh then the rest of the crew starts doing stuff, and they are they are handled really, really well. I think TN gets handled by two chopsticks. Yeah, I like that part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, every, everyone's just getting knocked out re- really, really effortlessly. Piccolo gets it the worst, where he's completely knocked out. His, his eyes are gone. <laughs> I like how he just spanks Gotenks. I think that part's really funny. It is, yes. Uh... Uh, this movie is uh, very much unlike uh, Dragon Ball Super, where Gohan is able to easily become his like ultimate form immediately instead of uh, the show where he says, I don't know if I can become Super Saiyan again. Uh, he still <laughs> jobs, but I appreciate that this one uh, actually remembered uh, how, uh, yeah, how it's it like, work. Oh, wait, you're actually supposed to be the strongest character right now. Yes. <laughs> so is mystic power like God power? Yes. But oh no. well, yeah. I was like, he learned it from a god. It's like but... ha- it's like halfway there, but it's mixed, so it doesn't work. <laughs> it's it's they eventually they go eventually they go with I think that that's the form that's Gohan getting stronger as a human instead of as a Saiyan. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Three episodes for the end of Bondu Cool. That was it. That was the thing that pushed me over the line. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus please Christ. Please don't leave. I we, was got, ju- we have the Frieza movie after uh, uh, this. I was going to say, Mystic Energy is kind of like uh, homeopathic god energy. <laughs> <laughs> also, Mystic isn't its name. It's ul- The official name is Ultimate Gohan. Yeah, that, that is true, but Mystic Gohan sounds fucking better than Ultimate Gohan. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, all, all, the offici- all the official names of this shit is so bad. It, that's like when, you know, instead of becoming Super Saiyan 2, they become Super Saiyan Huge, and me and Bob just look through <laughs> every name for that in existence. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> ascended Saiyans. <laughs> and then while Mondo Cool's running, they're like, Vegeta gets a new form. It's called Ultra Ego. <laughs> He's purple now with no eyebrows. Funniest so goddamn racist. thing I've ever seen. They turned him into a fucking pickle. <laughs> they turn him into a pickle in the next chapter. He jobs. <laughs> that's his fuck. That's literally he it is literally his role now. Yeah, I know. I know. But they it felt like they were building towards something, but nothing. Uh, there's explosions going on. They show out to the city. A motorcycle police woman goes, oh, they're fucking testing explosives without a permit again which i'm like i appreciate that they even had a have a had a moment to reflect how other people deal with this 
or wonder what the fuck is going on. Yeah, once yeah, in a some, while. Someday they, someday they should check in on the people who have died like three times <laughs> just from collateral damage. And it's like, yeah, like, like, do they forget? Do they think it was a weird dream? I just, I like the notion that this is how the cop that works near Elon Musk's house must feel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was my first the, fucking the thought. I was like, yeah, yeah. The cop near Elon Musk's house is like, oh, they're bringing in children again. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I appreciate every time we get to take a step back and look at the Dragon Ball universe in a different light. It helps. It's good. I yes. wish there were more of that. Yeah, yes. that was good fleshing out of the universe, <laughs> yeah. you know? I love that because I forget how we got there, but I remember being like, fucking... Oh, yeah, because we're talking about uh, Beerus being like a cat, but he's not like a furry cat. He's like a skinless one, and I'm like... Well, furries aren't necessarily weird. They're hairless weird. cat. God, he's not skinless. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's a hairless cat. Oops. He's he's Oops. he's based on a literal cat that Toriyama had hanging out, and it's like I like that cat. I'm gonna make it the main character of this movie. All right, so so he's a skinless cat, <laughs> and, and I was like, it's not furry. Isn't necessarily weird. They're governed by King Furry, mm -hmm. who's just a dog. <laughs> and then and then in and then in the fucking Kakarot game. They imply that 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 the furry characters are humans that took some kind of weird drug. What? <laughs> I remember you yeah, talking about that. That is that is buried in a side quest in Kagron. I know it's not canon, but it's insanely funny to think. I about. want it to be because that is stupid as hell. Oh right, they. Okay, I don't remember what point in the movie he does it. I think it's super early on where Beers is like, oh, I remember going to Earth and wiping out the dinosaurs. It's like, well, he yeah, kind of messed up. Yeah, we like, there's we, dinosaurs in this universe in every iteration we've we, seen it. We what had, are you talking about? Just bring them back. We had minutes of conversation around that one <laughs> yes, part. Yes, we did because I'm like, what is happening? I'm like, wait a second. We're not going to touch on the Egyptian shit, despite how he looks and how he's a god and all that. We're just going to say he killed the dinosaurs. That is what you. <laughs> do you ever see so, someone set up something so fucking obvious and then miss it the last second? Yeah, like, oh, what did he do? It. What did he do on Earth? He Toriyama, had, what did he do? He, he killed the dinosaur. <laughs> no, wrong, false. He killed the dinosaurs in Egypt, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking debunked if, asshole. If you, if you go to Egypt, there are no dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because he killed them. <laughs> yeah, he killed all of them and all the rest knew to stay the fuck out of there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Vegeta's fighting Beerus uh, very poorly. He's giving it his best shot. He, he like even leads them outside of the general area so they can do one of those. He gets he gets worked. He's like, okay, I guess this is how I'm gonna die. Just to just to beer us. And he's like, hey, take pride, take pride in dying to the god of destruction or whatnot. Uh, then Bumble shows up and says, can you? You're ruining everything. You're, you're fucking up my birthday. Uh, you're beating up my husband. Uh, then Beerus uh, just hits her, and it's like, oh, that's that that that's rough. Uh, Vegeta, look, look, look. Mm. Okay. What? Beers doesn't hit children. He spanks them because he's like, I'm not a monster. And then he hits her. That's okay. the funniest shit in okay, the world to I, me. I did completely forget because I blocked <laughs> these characters out all well, the time. No, well, it's, it's, it's only a little bit, Dan, just to teach her a lesson. Right? That's, yeah. that's what, Beers is old fashioned, yeah, clearly. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, my brain literally deletes the scene in which Goten and Trunks fuse into Gotenks. <laughs> try to do literally anything, and then Beerus just grabs them and spanks them 25 times or something. Yeah, I yeah. Was, Bulma I was... started mouthing off, and then Beerus said, one of these days, woman, zip, zoom, straight to the moon. <laughs> I do like when he spanks go tanksy. They just fall like they had been knocked out by just <laughs> crying. I know. <laughs> I, I wish they, they did their uh, ghost thing, just to, just to fill out even more questions we could have about what god power is. Uh, yeah, I, I would have loved, loved to see them do the volleyball combo. <laughs> that would be really good. God. Uh, Bulma gets hit, so Vegeta explodes it in male wife rage. Uh, and then, as Master Roshi exclaims, has become stronger than Goku and just starts getting the getting genuine hits on Beerus throughout, which uh, we had not seen anywhere before this. Yeah, then he, then he fucks it up and tries to use an energy attack. Like, that never works when you're winning. No. Especially when you're Vegeta. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's like, no, no, you, no, no, Vegeta. You know that once you get, like, 
all villains in Dragon Ball get unbelievably more powerful if you give them a dust cloud to emerge from. <laughs> yes. Yes, that, that is, in fact, the <laughs> worst thing you could do. Uh, Vegeta still loses, though, and then Goku shows up. Uh, actually, actually, I, is this the part where they do the Oolong moment? I believe it's around some area here. It is between Vegeta oh, getting okay. beaten up okay, and so okay. showing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Past the yeah, okay. okay, so Vegeta gets beaten up, and then they're like, okay, I'm going to destroy the planet unless, all right, you. And he points. Oolong's like, oh, no, not me. He's like, yes, you, you the pig. <laughs> Come over here. We're going to play rock, paper, scissors. And if you win, I won't blow up the planet. <laughs> Yamcha gives him a really good plan, though. Yeah, he's like, yo, you're a pig, so he assumes you have, like, hooves or whatever, so you always pick rock. So he's definitely going to... He's definitely going to pick, like, uh, paper or whatever. So, so you pick the opposite thing. You you slip him up. Well, he's like, yeah, this is it. This is my moment. I'm going to do this. And then and then he loses the rock, paper, scissors thing instantly. And Beerusa goes, my ears are big. I could literally hear everything you just said. <laughs> I was surprised that's that a, that is a that's a much better oolong scene than he's ever got. Yes, <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't drag it out longer. I, I thought they were going to be like best two out of three. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't well. worry, don't worry. They have more shit to waste time on later. Uh, yes, they do. Uh, Go Goku shows up and he does the dramatic walk, uh, and then goes, uh, "Yeah, I have no, I have no way to beat you, so we should just summon Shenron right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe figure out about this uh, Super Saiyan God thing. We'll just ask." Ask the dragon since you as a god do not know. I like how that someone brings up, yeah, why don't we get Shenron to just take care of him? It's like, did you it's really like, think you know that, that work? doesn't work? <laughs> and, and that it's didn't, like, do you they... remember when King Piccolo killed Shenron? <laughs> do you remember when they say, hey, can we, uh, can we, can we get you to stop Vegeta and Nappa from showing up, Darth? And it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you draw a cartoon brick wall over our planet so they just crash into it and die instantly? <laughs> they just teleport them to some other part of the universe so I, they just can't was, figure out where they are. I was making the joke of like, uh, sh uh, Almighty Shenron, and he's like, what's up? And they're like, open the dead zone. <laughs> yeah, that was it! That was the best time. He took like, dead zone god energy. <laughs> and then, and then Beers goes in and they're like, fucking close the dead zone! Yeah, because they get two wishes now, so that's absolutely the perfect shot. <laughs> Open, close. <laughs> just for this one scene. Just for this one scene, Goku is voiced by John Benjamin. <laughs> He's just like, close the dead zone! Jesus! <laughs> Can Goku instant transmit out of the dead zone? We did ask. See, that. that's so like he he can apparently go to the fucking afterlife, right? So I so, assume yes, he can do realms but, with that shit. So really, can, he is immune to the dead zone. Can can go Tinks and Majin Buu scream their way out of the dead zone because they get trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber and yeah. in the Buu saga and they just yell really loud until a hole opens? So, yes, right. but I'm curious if they even come out in this universe. If they do that, the dead zone's such a weird thing. It, no, it's got to be it's, it's, in, in Dragon Ball. It would be the same thing, and anything interesting, it wouldn't. In in early in this movie, we find out that instant transmission is better than what what Beerus has, which is really funny. It was like, no, it takes us like thirty minutes to drive to fly over to King Kai's place, whereas Goku, you know, can just be there instantaneous goku like, <laughs> literally uses magic yes yeah he does because they're like uh, how long would it take to get to earth uh three minutes and bob by understanding this we understand that god power is not magic <laughs> right so magic you think uh, you think magic would win you think majibu could be god power but no we don't know we'll never know <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you think they could do anything interesting <laughs> No, they can't! Uh, it's no. Dragon Ball! Yeah, I'm like, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not a million years. They summon Shenron. They're like, hey, Shenron, tell us about the Super Saiyan God thing. <laughs> and he's like, sure, here's bad lore. <laughs> I know all of this, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I know all of this. I, I, I looked... Uh, but first, you should have wished for the script. I uh, feel like uh, maybe if you knew about this, you could have told us earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't ask. So he's like uh, a long time ago, uh, Saiyans uh, that that were good had to had to stop evil Saiyans. God, um, this is so dumb. So so they became a Super Saiyan God by tethering all uh, their their jack off crystals together. 
Mm -hmm. uh, to be able to flood all the energy into one person. That became a Super Saiyan God. Unfortunately, the the form had like a, a like a time limit, so it like failed or something. They faded away after they they after they won. So they fully succeeded in winning over from evil, and then in the planet fell to evil again at some point. Uh, yeah, just yeah. really abruptly. Yeah, it turns out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's okay. They they missed like their insulin shot or something. I don't know. But but the good it's, Saiyans were gone. It's so dumb. Uh, it's the fucking dumbest. This is dumber than time travel, Bardock. It is, uh -huh. which is impressive. Uh, yeah, that is impressive. <laughs> Be Beerus asks, like the you know the method and everything. Uh, there's parts where Shenron is shitting his pants, going, "What? Why are you here? <laughs> why is this? Why is why is literally any of this happening right now?" And then they give the explanation for. It, and then Shenron's like, "I'm leaving, and I'm also shooting the Dragon Balls off. I'm counting that as a wish." Because, yeah. because I definitely do not want to be here right now. I had to do work. That counts. <laughs> yep. Shinron, Shinron's the type of guy who takes a call and is like, no, nah, that was my work for today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so they're like, okay, let's funnel our energy into Goku. So all, all of our Saiyans power up and shoot their power into him. And uh, he gets stronger. He starts crackling and stuff. And he's like, did I do it? And they're like, No. Did, didn't you hear the part where they give you an exact number? And they're like, no, we forgot. We forgot about it, that. It was one of those word math puzzles, so they couldn't figure it out. They're like, Goku, if five guys give you their power, how many people, how many Saiyans are there? And he goes, five. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, Go, Goku, like, if five guys jack you off, how many, how much energy flows into your crystal that's around your neck? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> fucking I, I, got, I, got, I got this from Roshi, like, when I first started. <laughs> Like, I never really knew what it was for until today. <laughs> uh, there is a part here where they're like, well, we need another one. And Bulma's like, hey, you could, you you literally have a brother, Tarble. You could go get him, to which, according to this, uh, Vegeta just doesn't know where he is, so it would be impossible to find him. So we can't, definitely can't do that. Hey, Goku, you remember how his energy feels, right? Couldn't you teleport to King Kai's planet and then find him like you did when you found New Namek back <laughs> In the cell that's saga, it's like no. Literally, what Bob said while we were watching this. <laughs> yeah, because he has a functioning brain who can who can remember any part of this entire show more than the writers L listen, of this film. Listen, when they were developing this movie, one of the things we learned when they were developing this movie is that Toriyama forgot Super Saiyan 2 existed. He thought Super Saiyan 3 was Super Saiyan 2 because Super Saiyan, the only difference between 1 and 2 is like an electrical effect. Yeah, he's electrical and a little spikier. Yes, and, yeah. and one, one, one follicle, one band of hair goes down real hard. Yeah, it, it can cut a pizza. <laughs> it's so fucking insane. Uh, but thankfully, since Videl's pregnant, there's 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 a <laughs> there's a Saiyan fetus in her, so we'll just use that for our jack off crystal. I'm now remembering that I was like, just ask Shenron to give us another Goku. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can he do that? Can he clone someone? We haven't investigated. Yeah, but that's one thing we haven't checked with Shenron. He can do <laughs> almost nothing. But that but might maybe. be something. <laughs> Doctor Briefs, can you clone Goku right now? He's like, what do you mean? I've already done that. I just told no one. <laughs> I like the idea. They're like, we need someone with Saiyan energy. <laughs> what do you uh, think Goten is? <laughs> <laughs> we Once again, Goku's never fucked. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we, we need someone with Saiyan energy. Grab the Dragon Balls again. We're bringing back Cell. <laughs> I was saying they should bring back Nappa or Raditz. <laughs> yeah, oh, we were yeah. Like, I was like, where's Turles? I'm like, can we bring back Raditz? Or Nappa. I'm surprised none of these movies have gone insane. Like, yeah, they wish to bring back all the Saiyans. I'm not sure why, but they did it. <laughs> that way they could all jack off Goku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Saiyan cum is, in fact, the strongest. Then everyone's confused to why Bardock doesn't come back. <laughs> he does. Back in that old time he's trapped in. <laughs> He comes back as super old man. He's like, I died of old age. Why'd you do this to me, son? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I became a Super Don't. Saiyan 4 off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. The, the rules on resurrection change like every fucking five years because Toriyama keeps forgetting. At one point, you couldn't revive someone who had been dead longer than a year. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I do. I uh, But I thought there was a weird loophole with, with the, the, the Nam 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 Namekian dragon or something could do it. No, that that's that's the Earth Dragon could only revive someone once, which is explained as they the, the dragon can't answer the same wish more than once. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
But the Namekian dragon doesn't give a shit. It's See, like, I thought, but but, but I can't thought, do multi res. See, that's the thing. I thought they they did the word puzzle on the Namekian dragon, but now that I think about it, that was the second Earth dragon, right? That they just went. What if you brought back everyone that Frieza killed? That's not the same people again. <laughs> I I I don't think that revived <laughs> the everybody Frieza killed, which revived anybody that had hadn't been revived already. Because they have to, they have to <laughs> use the Namekian dragon to bring Krillin back because he had died already. Are you telling me that Shenlong just pulled a fucking? Hey, can you make a new pot, of, a fresh pot of coffee? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this tastes great. Thanks for doing that. Yes, I sure did. <laughs> All the Saiyans pour their energy into Goku to become a Super Saiyan God. It works. His design looks bad. Oh, it's I'm, so bad. He's it's, hungry. It, it's so bad they had to make a new form for the next movie because fuck using this one again. Yeah, smart. I think that there are interesting ideas behind it, but yeah, it just looks bad. It's it, weird. It really does. It just like looks a, fucking terrible. Like, I, I like the idea of him slimming down to becoming godlike because that's kind of like what Beers is. But then they can't draw that. I know. They, yeah, they definitely can't draw that. His face weird. <laughs> I I sort of like I guess the intent is for the energy to look different because it's God key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it just looks bad. <laughs> like I like the idea, right, of him kind of looking similar to how he normally looks for his God mode, but then they just made the first version of Ultra Instinct that just looks better than that, where his hair color doesn't change in the first part of it. And I'm like, that's a better acting on that idea of like oh yeah he's mostly the same but it's, incredibly it, powerful yeah it's like i can even get past his face but his biceps being we drew them large but then <laughs> scaled them weirdly <laughs> we fucks with me every time them. yeah exactly yeah. yeah this movie this movie really doesn't look very good no ever. it doesn't oh. i was kind of surprised by how bad it looked coming back especially like, this fight this is just uh, bad yeah yeah they split the fight into two groups we do the first group in the beginning here of super saiyan god goku fi fighting him uh there's sh uh, copious amounts of cg everywhere of like yeah, fighting through the city really and bad. then traveling across. <laughs> I, I guess, uh, <laughs> they, go, they go into the P they go into the PS1 FMV forest. Yes, they do in fact go to the PS1 FMV forest. Um Goku has a moment where he uh he's like, Yeah, it's cool that I'm a god, but this sucks because I had to get other people to help me get strong. I just wanted to get strong on my own. I hate friendship. <laughs> I hate the spirit bomb. Why do you ask? I, I also hate the spirit bomb. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's why that's what that's why he's like, I, I wish I had defeated Majin Buu on my own. I can't believe I had to be a cuck and rely on everyone in the universe to help me. Yes. <sighs> but uh, you but know. I think that we need to mention when Goku turns into looking worse than a PS2 game in in this movie. Yeah, he looks worse than like Budokai one. Yeah, they do a 45 degree angle shot of the two of them flying at each other and then do like a tracking pan where yeah. the camera rotates around the action. And the funny thing is, when this shot begins, it, I believe it's showing Beers, and yes. Beers is drawn in 2D. Yes. When it pans over to Goku, he's 3D, and it looks terrible. And then when Beers joins him in the middle, he's now 3D. And it's like, this is impressively bad. <laughs> this is the part where you rewound and went frame by frame, I think. Yeah, I did the slow-mo. I was like, this is, this is impressive. <laughs> yeah, uh, those visuals reminded me of the Budokai Tenkaichi intro, where it's like, really shiny 3d models where i'm like what are you but doing? they don't have the really good nod the nod which is the greatest <laughs> gift in all of dragon ball game history 100 percent. It, it, it reminds me of the, some of the parts in uh the first netflix season of baki where characters become <laughs> ps2 models to fight yeah it does have a kind of look like that and that thing feels like it's made on two dollars <laughs> at least they have been <laughs> At least they eventually got enough money to quit doing that. <laughs> yeah, they, they they keep doing the fight. Um and then they, they do this moment where they like they like crash into the water in the ground uh because uh the entire time I'm like, how the fuck do they get underground? I know they're underground at some point in this fight, and I cannot fathom how they get there. Well see, they part the sea with their god power, because you know, Moses. And then they just shove themselves into the dirt <laughs> underneath the ocean. Yeah, they just sink in. It's really fucking funny. And now they're in a giant underground cave. I was like, 
there's a lot going on here. Yeah. Uh, it's it's at this point that uh, they, they turn off the effects of the Super Saiyan God on Goku. And I'm like, oh, thank God. As uh, they have another. Have he, another they, he, mm. he's, he just fights in regular Goku form. Not even Super Saiyan. Yes. Because they're like, we, we don't care. <laughs> and they, no, no, there's a reason. There's a reason. Yeah. Okay. And Goku, uh, Goku and Beerus both brag about how they, uh, how, how they're holding back. Beerus didn't expect that from Goku. Gets real mad. We enter the second stage of this fight, uh, where they're, you know, they're, they're shooting, they're shooting off blasts. They're fighting in this underground uh, area, uh, and then, and, <laughs> and then Goku just starts getting encased within the earth. <laughs> Yeah, Beerus does his uh, Dragon Ball Fighters reversal where he just explodes and shoots balls everywhere. Uh, yeah, there's a special feature. I, I think it's on the Blu-ray. I saw it on, on YouTube where they put a picture in picture of the dub voice actors doing this fight. Um, and Beerus's voice actor goes insane. He, 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 he does a very good job of looking like his body's going to explode despite being very scrawny <laughs> <laughs> while trying to do all of these screams. And, and I appreciate being able to hear uh, Schimmel uh his face as he does his one of his funniest screams of i will not let you destroy my world yes and, no that's as as he enters his sonic colors drill form yeah the the, the fact that he's covered in like stone blocks while the camera shakes looks so funny oh it's, it's the, the funniest, funniest shit in the, he's, in this whole he's like a muppet you shove through a desk and just <laughs> flail the head around uh yeah and I, the I, delivery I, reflects that perfectly too yes i ad- i adore this this entire section where i'm like this this is great he's going insane it's like fucking Goku, it's Shebel's version of, I'm not going to let you destroy this world! And his arms flailing like fucking Kermit. And I'm like, this is what I want. I want this Goku scream always. Uh, also, that's when the insert song kicks in, and I like the insert song a lot. Uh, I also like the insert song when it's in Japanese, but unfortunately for the Blu-ray, they had to put a blurb saying that uh, Toei fucked them and didn't give them the licensing rights. So that explains to me why they always do English versions for these songs. The uh, the opening blurb was hilarious. I lost it because yeah. it, it really is just Toei fucked us. And I'm like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> and I just think about every cool Dragon Ball like insert song, like Ultimate Battle that's used in Super, where they just got a YouTuber to do the song for them. Oh, that's <sighs> the the English version of Ultimate Battle is so fucking. And, bad. I'm, and I'm like, this this explains why I just can't. You got enjoy Masaki, things. isn't it Masaki Indo? Uh, they got somebody. They got someone who does like Toku Toku insert songs, and it's very obvious because that song just goes really hard. Uh, this one it was the band Flow, which uh, that's one of my favorite Japanese bands. They just get someone else to do it, and despite it being in English, I think I understood less of it on this <laughs> than if it was just Japanese people doing the usual English that song has. Um, this is where they do they do the cool uh, animated fight sequence of them fighting through the clouds, which uh, I think is pretty cool. Uh, that this transitions the battle into space. Uh, Goku does a uh, surprisingly dodgeable uh, warp kamehameha. I don't know. Beerus is just yeah. Like, it's like, the- like <laughs> I, I don't understand his his goal with this one. Like he te- he bobs around, which is fine, but then he like does it from max distance. And I'm like, bro, the whole point of this move is that you get right up in their face and delete them from reality. <laughs> yeah, uh, this. Uh, Beerus is like, oh fuck! I, I hit the button too early, so I'm on a cooldown, so I just can't even leave. Uh, he takes that hit. Um, Beerus is like, okay, I'm just gonna make a giant sun, and then I'm gonna throw it at you, and then you're gonna have to try and block it. Also, you're out of god power now. <laughs> and then uh, Goku tries his best to, to to block through it while having a conversation. Uh, utter utterly, uh, utter utterly fails to like win the fight in any way. And then um. And then Beers is like, "Hey, you should just, you should, you should give up. I'm waiting for you to literally say you give up." And Goku said, "Uh, sure, yeah." Uh, then Beers exposits lore at him, uh, that there are multiple different other universes with their own like gods and strong people. And Goku's like, "That's that's cool. That's that's really interesting." They return to Earth, and Beers is like, "I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna destroy the Earth as promised." And then he he blows up a chunk of like a rock, and that counts as destroying the Earth. He destroyed some Earth. And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll spare you guys, but I'm going to come back for, for good food. At for some food. Point. He's like, I want that food. You, you, bet, you better give me that shit. 
And Bulma's like, yeah, I'll get you as much pudding as you want, but you better not say it's bad and then destroy our world. That's not that's not cool. Yeah, yeah, that that <laughs> effect is not cool. It's at this point when you're like, okay, credits are coming up, and it's like, no, there's 15 more minutes left in this movie uh, because they have to they have to show the fact that Beerus returns to uh, to his uh, home planet, uh, PS One Town. Yes, P- he has to return to PS One Town. Looks like the ed- the edge of the universe in any JRPG you may have played in the PlayStation era, where there's planets like orbiting this giant thing. Uh, Weiss is like, "Yo, I I I got us. They they helped me pack a lunch. So so here you can have some of this like sushi. And then they do the bit of like, oh no, he's he doesn't know what wasabi is, and he's gonna have the whole glob, and it makes him explode, and he starts pinballing across every single planet that is surrounding their area, blowing it up as he slams into them." Uh, they pay off a thing earlier where they're like, uh, Weiss is uh, the mentor to uh, to Beerus and just immediately one shots him and knocks him out, like hits him in the neck or whatever. And then he's like getting ready to do his his his, his sleepy time. And then they kind of just the scene kind of just keeps going. They kind of just keep talking. And we're like, we necessarily need this chunk of, of de-escalating action before the credits, but they, they kept going with it. Yeah, it felt like the third Lord of the Rings movie. It just wouldn't fucking end. <laughs> yes, it does. Yep. I was like, this it, it, is, the, this the is very, insane. <laughs> the very end, though, is maybe the funniest moment in <laughs> Goku is a piece of shit. <laughs> yes, more that is. we've ever gotten. Oh, yeah, where he's is. like, but, um, it's it, like, you should, you should get all powered up to fight me, Vegeta. If, if you can't, I'll just hit Bulma. And that should do it. <laughs> that is, in fact, the, that is f- absurd. Uh, but yeah, they, they end the scene where it's like, oh, Beerus is going to take a nap for a certain amount of time, but based on the next movie that he does not do that. Uh, and then, then they cut back to earth where, uh, Goku's hanging out with Vegeta and, and stuff. And they're reflecting on, on everything that happened and stuff, how Goku's got to be the, the main guy. Uh, this is the moment that, uh, they figure out and Goku reveals that he had actually been on earth for an extended period of time before actually revealing himself just watching everything play out. This is truly but Lord GT tier. It is. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to get back to the spaceship. <laughs> no, glutes. I'm not coming out until you're all half dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fact that he did that, I'm like, this is one of my favorite Goku moments ever. Where I'm like, fuck you. It's Are insane. you serious? And then he then he does the he does the entire bit of just like, hey. Hey, we, we we fight. I uh, might have to hit Bulma first, and then and then Bulma begins uh, horribly assaulting Goku uh, with what seems to be rapid fire slaps. As the uh, camera it, it, it played a machine gun sound. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> it was really good. And then and then then we hit credits. Uh, credits uh, going through manga, manga panels throughout the entire history of Dragon Ball. It. it I'm sorry. I just it just hit me. If, if Bulma is so concerned about her age, which she they make it very clear she's upset that she's getting older. Yes. Uh, she gets the Dragon Balls to give a wish to... For, <laughs> da, 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 hey, da, da, hey, no one, no one has used the Dragon Balls to become younger, so you can't say this. Except for the characters in this movie. Yes. The ones who have mysteriously it, disappeared like, and will never be mentioned again, right? <laughs> yeah, two of them will like never be I, mentioned again, except for my, she's a girl, and I guess Trunks is just going to fuck a 50-year-old. It's a. Uh, it's like how uh, they're like, oh, <laughs> I, I killed all the dinosaurs. They fly by a dinosaur in the fight scene at the end of the movie. Yep. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I just had the thought of yeah. Well, of course, Trunks needs his his Asian wife. He is a libertarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember you when- know you know she does she does love guns <laughs> oh god no yes <laughs> so close we need to get that shirt now so close. I- i'm just thinking about god i remember when super kept going and it's like here's an older looking my and the amount of people that are just like they really just made a pedophile thing in this they did that they're really doing that huh it's like, I guess. I guess they just want to. That's okay. When she turned into a kid, it turned her mental age back down to a kid. Yeah. 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 She's a Dragon Ball character, well, well, so you see, she has a well, chance see, to, to learn things again. I'm trying. I'm tr- uh, You know what I'm just going to say? It. Toriyama already considers women mentally children. <sighs> and that was Dragon Ball Z, the Battle of Gods. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, first, the first of these three uh, 
Dragon Ball like movie things that are actual movies they put in the theaters that you could drive up to a movie theater to watch. And then we, uh, me and Dan, did that with Agro and Zeon, and we drove like fifty fucking miles. Yeah, it was like an. It was. It was probably like forty. I remember it was a little bit uh, around an hour. Y- y- you know, I enjoy this movie. I don't know if I enjoy it like fifty miles worth necessarily. <laughs> I, be- I bet at the I, time I'd, I'd probably mark. Out I'd have done to be that like, for sure. the novelty. Yeah, I'd have done that for the novelty. Like it's the first one of these they're actually fucking showing in theaters, and I can see an anime movie in fucking theaters that isn't a Pokemon movie. All right, like, sure. I'm like, this is great. I love anime. I love high budget anime. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like. uh What's the last anime movie that I saw in a theater? It's got to be a Digimon the movie. Oh. Yeah, I was like, they actually a decent co- number of come here, so I've seen some some Miyazaki and whatnot. Yeah, I think of the ones that <laughs> end up getting like advertised on like TV and stuff back in the day. But, mm-hmm. but when I've gone to theaters, they're like, look, we're just we're showing this. <laughs> Bob went, Bob went to the theater with Tosh because I was working that day and I wasn't as interested in the movie. I still would have gone just to hang out with them, but Bob went to the theater with Tosh once and I just, since that day, every now and again, I'll yell, stop watching anime with my wife! I see. It takes two, huh? <laughs> well, now that we've uh, finished uh, summarizing this massive nightmare... It's time for us to move on to our segments. Uh, so the first one of those is uh, the one where we uh, pit someone from the movie against Jiren from Dragon Ball Super, uh, which is exciting as we're moving into material that literally uh, just gets adapted into Super, except Bulma's party is on a boat. You skipped the segment. Yeah. Is, did I? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, fuck, I did. <laughs> Dude, this one's long. It feels like we've been here for two days. Yamcha Award, who fucking sucks, Dan? Uh, Trunks. <laughs> he settled. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just found his ideal woman real quick. I don't know. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he, he liked yeah. an Asian woman with guns. <laughs> <laughs> Who is actually 50. It's everything he ever wanted. <laughs> God. Her mind is very smart and aged. It's it's uh she's got it, an old it, it's soul. Great. You get all you get all the benefit of the mommy GF, but all the eggs aren't dried up. <laughs> this is really rough. I spent I spent like um 30 seconds before starting these segments going, I don't remember what the first segment is. I guess it's this one. <laughs> but thank you for helping with that. Bob, who do you got? Who's it's up? Gohan. Gohan almost yeah, ki- like kills his own kid. <laughs> Pan almost died tonight. <laughs> Pan almost yeah. died tonight. <sighs> what a yeah. good movie. Uh, uh, Videl took that bull into the leg like a champ. That was pretty impressive. No, she didn't. She was no, crumpled she on the ground. Yeah, yeah she was bleeding out. I don't know. She she took it pretty well when she got, he's watching a man die and just goes, <laughs> "You're doing this is great." You're doing it. Hey, when she got healed, there wasn't even a hole hole in her leggings, so oh, clearly wow. it wasn't that bad. Wow, look at you! You're doing it. Well, well the Mechians do have clothing powers that that's established many times over the series. Yes. Okay. Hey, she took it well. She only took she took it a little less better than Beerus did. <sighs> feel feel who do you got? <sighs> I'm. I guess I, I'm gonna give it to Shinron because he's like. I answered a question. I'm tired now. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Shinron was the Taco Bell drive-through employee who's like, "Welcome. What do you want? Oh, we're closed." <laughs> it, yeah. If the wish, if like, I would. He wouldn't have won if the wish had just been tell us about the Super Saiyan God. Hmm. But but it's like we don't have a wish. We just need to ask you this. And he's like, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> Like I'm tired. I, I, I talked like for three seconds. <laughs> this is too much. Um, I'm gonna pick King Vegeta <laughs> because uh, he was in this movie at all, and he only exists to be pathetic, and that was real rough. I don't know. One of the important part plot, plot parts of this movie is that King Vegeta took over after the Super Saiyan God <laughs> eradicated all evil on Vegeta. No, that was years and years before this, so, so he didn't even do that. We actually don't have a firm timeline we, on no, it. No, so. we don't. But 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 Beers didn't know about the Super Saiyan gods. If it was sometime recent, then he should have. Hmm. Stop talking about this plot. <laughs> this plot sucks. <laughs> okay, this plot yeah. sucks. He's <laughs> ass. Yeah. We have never dug deep on a plot for Mondo Cool this hard. Because they Ever. didn't try this hard before. Right? Like, that's the yeah, problem. None of them were real. Broly again. <laughs> like, that's usually the level also, they come in at. 
Also, I'd like to point out that Beerus was alive and the God of Destruction 75 million years before this movie. Yeah, because uh, he took out the dinosaurs. He, he established that. He, I, again, He's, Super Saiyan God happened 79 million and one year ago. <laughs> or, or during one of his naps. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that is true. He does take those big naps. Or he doesn't, based on the next movie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, yeah. Uh, he, take, well, he, he, he takes big naps because he's bored. He, until he's a character, now he's just gonna always be awake forever. <laughs> because he's a he fun. took a red. He was like, "Wait a second, it's interesting stuff has happened." I need my Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, that, he, that, you know what? You know what? I would be one hundred percent on board if, like, the Wow Earth has so many things. Things like showed him with a monster, and then he yes. doesn't sleep anymore. And then he yeah. just never <laughs> sleeps again. I need some art of Lord Beerus with his blueberry Red Bull. He, he looks like all those weird Wojaks with the hollowed out eyes where they've been up for 10 years. Uh, yeah, he's like, I need to always be awake now. So now whenever there, there's ever a scary threat, I can be here to make it feel like nothing. But he's so fried. Yeah, but he's, he's also so deep like deep fried. fried so just, Goku's <laughs> like, oh my God, this is the hardest thing we've ever dealt with. And Beers is like, man, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, man, he's emanating some sort of key. Can I read God key? It's like, no, he hasn't showered yet. <laughs> he's just wafting right now. All right, here's our Jiren segment. I'm gonna start with you, Dan. I need you to pick someone from uh, from this movie that can be Jiren. Uh, Lord Beers. <laughs> this is pretty easy. <laughs> uh, I think mm. he might stand a chance. Maybe they they talk up Jiren quite a bit that he has power that might even be stronger than a god of destruction. So at least it'll be somewhat even. Yeah, I, th I think he stands a fair chance. <laughs> okay. I've played fighters. They they try to sell that dude real hard. That's okay. so that's so bad. <laughs> they do. That's so bad. In, in, fa in like, fact, they're I'm, like, in fact, I'm pretty they, sure they're I like, they he's, he's the stronger. mortal who is stronger. They do. They say he is the mortal who can, that no god of destruction can defeat, and that they want him to be the next one for his place. Okay. No, actually, it's the side guy who. Does, oh yeah. Who yeah. they want? Oh yeah, you're right. But yeah, there's some some sort of match there. Feel you can go next. Uh, Weiss, obviously, because they because ain't nobody beating an angel. They have been pretty. They have been pretty firm and like, no, you just get your ass kicked, no matter <laughs> who you are. Yeah, they're they're blue and quirky. Yeah, they have those bedroom eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh hmm. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Bubbles. <laughs> All right. Oh, who can, who can who can refuse an uh, offer? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bob. Uh, now I'm stuck with two options. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Flip a coin. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll go with the, the, the Vegeta and wife guy mode. Oh, yeah. That's where I was going. Yeah. Then I'm like, I'll pick an even worse option. <laughs> see, if, if someone had picked Whis, I was going to say, go, Han, but only if someone shoots at him. <laughs> <laughs> we give Jiren a gun. <laughs> Well, that was surprisingly successful. We only have one. Uh, we only have one, one other segment left, where we we take the uh, the main villain or antagonist of the film, and we try to bring someone from all the Dragon Ball shows. To be like <laughs> that person can <laughs> can deal with, with with that villain. So our villain here is Beerus. <laughs> this oh. is out of the first time really hard. <laughs> uh, yes, and. Uh, it is my distinct honor to uh, to do this one. Uh, I had a note from uh, two years ago about this one when I came up with these if segments. If you say what I think you're about to say, I'm going to fucking... So uh, the person that I'll elect from the shows to be able to defeat Beerus will be Jiren from Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm I, not I, upset. I, I feel like he could actually do that, and it seems like a close enough match, so I'm just going to like that one. <laughs> you, you can pick the one I thought you were going to do for your turn, Feel. Uh... Well, uh, there is a there is a character. <laughs> Let me look up this character's actual name because I can only remember what people call him as a joke. Oh fuck, this ain't good. <sighs> now this is great. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the list of these fucking characters? Where are they? Uh, they are called the Grand Minister, and they are the sidekick of Xenos, the Omni King, who is <laughs> who is the. The, who is the super god who can literally just er erase you and there's nothing you can do, it's over. <laughs> yeah, the literal ruler of all universes in existence. 
Uh, or as he is called in Dragon Ball meme culture, El Grande Padre. <laughs> yeah! I've heard the legends of El Grande Padre. <laughs> yes, you see, it's quite powerful. Yes, that's that's great. Hey, he can stand toe to toe with El Hermano. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Dan, you can go next. You know, time travel's pretty weird, and alternate timelines with time travel are pretty weird. What if there was a different future Trunks <laughs> that got involved somehow? I feel like maybe that guy may be able to solve this. Uh, yeah, that one, their hair's just going to be green. <laughs> because we just don't care. <laughs> That's where my money is going. <laughs> Sure. All on red. <laughs> you know, a after the future trunk stuff they've they've done and later stuff, fuck it. Yeah. Who knows what they'll fucking do? Exactly. Fucking there's there's a Super Saiyan God trunks with a sword in in fucking heroes. Exactly. He has a fucking keyblade. It looks so fucking <laughs> stupid. Yeah. <laughs> In my head, it's like, like it's he's just... like long hair trunks with oh, the hair no. being red, so it looks red. really bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I found a horrible picture. I'm gonna post it just so you can see Thank how you. fucking bad this design looks. Mark, it's low it. res because it, it's low res, but what fucking whatever. It looks really bad. <laughs> Holy what? shit! God. Look at this guy. In my head, the keyblade was like. You know, I thought it was a blade of key, not a key blade from Kingdom Hearts. So I was oh, like, really? it's like the no, character it's... Yashihime, but no, no, we have a key blade from Kingdom Hearts. I I'm going to be honest. This, this almost doesn't even look like a key blade. It looks like a Xenoblade thing. On it it does look like a Xenoblade so, thing. So or... I see it as like the vehicles from Birth by Sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then it, it turns into a bike or something. Yeah, exactly. And Chrono Trigger 2 looks weird. I'm trying to remember. What is that? Uh <sighs> Man, if they Buso made... Rankin, it's, it's oh the main my character's God. weapon from Buso Rankin. Holy shit! <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is that. We're solving mysteries, rewriting history. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I don't know who's next. Is it? it Bob? I haven't Bob? gone yet. Okay, I was, I was, I was pretty sure you were the only one left, but I was afraid to call on Feel again just for fun, Bob. Uh, obviously, if we're using time travel, it's going to be uh, Oob from the future. He's going to, you know, he's resurrected <laughs> magic power it was human power. True. I assume that's like God power. I don't know. We haven't tested it yet. Okay. Yeah. So, so you say it's just like a basic Oob or... Uh, this is future Oob. Okay. So it's past what we even see in GT. He gets super swole. <laughs> Oh, okay, because he gets he gets some stuff in GT that's dumb. So this is even past that. Yes. That, God fucking. Oob. Bob believes in the potential of Oob. Yes, because <laughs> Goku did. Yeah, but none of the writers fucking believed in him. <laughs> but sure, I I will of course accept that. Well, good well good news. We we we've gone through all of our segments. It's time for the most important part of the entire show because people like numbers and I like numbers. And this is where we review the thing that we just watched uh, by saying a few things about it, giving a score from zero to seven. And uh, we combine those up. It could get anywhere between nothing and a 28. And then we'll put it in our official rankings for the movies. We'll be starting with Dan. Give me your review and score for Battle of Gods. Uh, this is this is a little complicated to do the number for. I'm mm -hmm. feeling between two different numbers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. The more harsh of the two numbers, though. Okay. Mm. It's too bad I can't do like decimals. Uh, I'm going to give this a three. There are some enjoyable bits if you don't watch it like any time near when you already watched it. <laughs> the plot of the movie is mostly comedy bits that either land slightly or don't land at all. Um, but there are some funny things in this. Unfortunately, there's a lot of really bad looking everything. And there aren't many cool concepts. Every concept for this is infuriating on an in intellectual level. Where it's like other Dragon Ball movies have like really bizarre concepts that just don't deliver on it. Like Metal Cooler. Which yeah. is just like, what do you mean there's a machine planet? <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me? A big Getty star? Yeah, what those, the those, fuck? Al those also those also have like the buff of the stoop like the stupid shit is buffed by like whatever some dude at Toei came up with this who fucking cares? Yeah, like we need something. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 those are also really they're also forty minutes long. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which helps when they don't have to say a thing. And also I feel like a lot of those, like when you get really stupid stuff, really stupid stuff in these movies. 
They don't say it at the beginning and then watch as the weight of the movie's plot makes it crumple as a concept. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, it wasn't that bad of an experience watching it again. I just hope to God I never have to do it ever again. (laughs) Uh, Because I've seen the actual movie at least twice. I watched this in Super. So this would technically be my fourth viewing. Exciting. It's not (sighs) that good. (laughs) No. Yeah, not at all. Uh, okay, Bob, you can go next. I was also caught between three and four looking at other things I'd rated, but I'm going to go with three as well because it's just, it's not nearly as bad as I remember it being. I remember this being even more boring. At least there are some bits in here that are funny. Yes. It, there's a genuine, like it feels like a really bad version of Yo Son Goku and his friends return. Yes. Yes. Because that was the whole same idea of bring all of them together, have a party. But they were actually like, let's have fun with it. Let's have a goofy villain that can't do anything. With the really funny attack names. Yeah, and and it it got the joke. And this doesn't feel like it does that. And it also has a bunch of the peel-off stuff, which it, it doesn't pay off on at all. <laughs> and then it goes Return of the King at the end. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's not enjoyable. This is three. It it's yeah, it's not it's not great. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Looking it, at my list, you know, I would say it like from my list it's definitely landing under cooler's revenge slightly in world's strongest and yeah. episode of bardock and aquatine hunger force colon movie for theater. right <laughs> yes i think this is coming a little underneath though. uh all right i'll go next um i i enjoyed this movie i like i like some i like some of the action in it i i enjoyed most of the comedy that they do uh i was gonna end up putting this a little higher than expected uh but then it just didn't end and it was kind of just meandering with conversations between Beerus and then that stuff where I feel like they could have just cut to uh, the part where Goku gets hit and reveals that he's a dipshit. Uh, so I'm going to give it a four. So that's, that's a, it's a little bit higher than you, but I, I wanted to give it a five, but it kind of it meanders way too much at the end that where I'm like, I'd like to get out of here. And, and they wouldn't let me. Yeah, something else that kills me about this is the DBZ movie. I don't feel like there's any fight I want to see. Yeah, isn't that weird? Right? It's like none of the fights look good. None of them even feel like they could be cool. Like I, they try and really hard to sell the final fight, and then it's just it, it's too weak. Yeah, and when you combine that with, and I know this is a high fucking bar and not fair, but it is a Dragon Ball movie. Uh huh. When you combine that with the fact nothing's as funny as the androids walking through the shopping mall. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be thinking about that till we're dead. That shit's funny as hell. Yeah, it is. Like, it's just like, what in the world is this sequence? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, feel you're you're bringing up the rear. What is your review and score? I think three is pretty fair. Like, there's just so much of this movie that's dead air, and there is there is stuff in it I really like. I I like Beerus and Wiss a lot. I like I like Goku just being the horrible at the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm a really big fan of the super era characterization of Vegeta where he's just whipped. Y- yes. Um, mm-hmm. and, and, and there is, and, and, but it's just like, there's like you, the obligation they felt to try and make this like a real theater length movie is a real millstone around its neck. Like if this was an hour, it would probably be two points higher. Yeah. Yeah. There's just, there's so much filler. This is, also, it looks like shit. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's, re- it's really sad where it's like, oh, man, this is a little overly long. And then the Dragon Ball Super show is like, we could stretch this even more. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Crazy. But so, yeah, it is upsetting because yeah. like like Fields saying, I also think Beers is cool. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love the new characters they introduced. I think they're really, I think both of them are quite strong in terms of like, I enjoy when you're on the screen doing something. So we have to have a conversation. I oh, did, yeah. I also noticed this. Yes, Dan. <laughs> uh, which is better, Battle of Gods or Mystical Adventure? The only other thing to get a 13. Ooh. Man, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that, that was, was episode uh, epi- three. Episode three. Oh, that was the one where they retold Dragon Ball original. But, for the, <laughs> uh, but that... But that, that <laughs> <laughs> So in Mystical Adventure, it was retelling Dragon Ball, but it had the TN stuff in it, and they fought Mercenary Tao, and then Arale showed up and fucking owned his ass. Okay, it was and that this, time. And this whole it. movie was like thirty-five minutes long, so it's like, wow, you're just fucking moving. Yeah, I, I just rem- I remember us going through that one, and uh, at the time, Feel was like scoring these really high, and he fucking hated that one at the time. 
so so here's we need to each vote. Yes. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say because of Arale, Mystical Adventure is better. Okay. I also think Mystical Adventure is Mystical Adventure is better. Uh, feel how you feeling about it. <sighs> I gotta say Battle of the Gods because I would much rather have like new characters than just old characters stuffed in something. I think it has more value, so I voted higher. See, here's here's the weird thing. Okay, here's the weird thing with Mystical Adventure. It's stroke inducing watching it, seeing what they do with the characters. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, I can't remember a single part of Mystical Adventure beyond like there was a doll that had a gun in it. I think what? Uh, and you were really upset over the treatment of some of the Red Ribbon Army people and how they're supposed to be cool, but they were thrown away. What was that in that? I thought that was Path to Power. Uh, that that is also a thing in Path to Power, but no, I can't. I, I just know there's the, the doll. Oh, it's been too long, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. believe it was Blue. I believe it was Mercenary Blue who just gets. I, I, yeah, it's like it's like he was kind of important, and you just just killed him. But I was more upset that it's like this just seems kind of not good. See, I find it funny because it's like, how do I put this? I think functionally it can replace the original series, but it's just so bizarre to do that. It's like if you replace the chair in someone's house. Like, yeah, there was always a chair there, but this is just a really weird thing. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with Battle of the Gods, so we're tied because I... uh... Let me find a coin. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'm going to say Tails is Battle of Gods, Heads is uh, Mystical Adventure. Okay. Landed on heads. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. A mystical Adventure is clearly a better film. <laughs> <laughs> this penny said so. <laughs> this is really good science here. <laughs> yeah. Look, guys, we just don't want to put rank and then two different numbers next to two entries. That will make it pay to the yeah, end to read out every week. Right. <laughs> All right. With uh, us settling things in the most scientific way possible, we now have the definitive list of uh, every uh, relevant Dragon Ball production. Uh, that we cover on this show uh, at this very moment in time. So with uh, with these uh, with these twenty seven things, here's our list. Uh, first off, we have the shittiest things you could ever watch. Uh, plan to eradicate these Super Saiyan people. Number twenty seven, <laughs> followed by a Dragon Ball GT: A Hero's Legacy at twenty six. Then Dragon Ball Path to Power at twenty five. Uh, all these are really close together in terms of when we watch them too. It's great. Uh, uh, <laughs> Whoa! Mm-hmm. Uh, then number twenty-four, plan to eradicate the Saiyans. Uh, still in the bad zone. Followed by uh, number twenty-three, Bio Broly. Then the Return of Cooler, at number twenty-two, and History of Trunks, at number twenty-one. Getting out of our horrible section to the just I don't want to watch this again section uh, with number twenty, Wrath of the Dragon. Then Bardock, Father of Goku, at nineteen. Then Dragon Ball Evolution at eighteen. <laughs> Uh, we're getting closer and closer to there being like 10 things worse than that live action movie. And that's rough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know. There's that scene where he slides on his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I delete yeah, literally I've everything. Seen everybody, <laughs> everything else in the entire movie. The only, th- the only things that exist for that are him sliding his head. That look Piccolo gives to the Dragon Balls like he's high. <laughs> and uh, Bulma on the motorcycle. Uh, no, hey, hey, hey. We also have Piccolo super tucked in. <laughs> Betty time Piccolo. Yeah, Piccolo enters blanky mode. Uh, okay. Number 17, Tree of Might. Number 16, Sleeping Princess and Devil's Castle. Number 15, Broly Second Coming. Uh, reaching the acceptable uh, zone, uh, we have number 14, Curse of the Blood Rubies. Number 13, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. I miss when these plans were this insane. Uh, number 12, Battle of Gods. Uh, number 11, Mystical Adventure. Then our top 10 of episode of Bardock. Ooh. Did it really hit 10? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's 20 minutes long and largely funny. So yeah, yeah. That's all... My brain kind of forgot a lot, uh, a lot of what happened in us discussing the episode. You know what really helps episode of Bardock? Huh. You not hearing the same thing over and over and over as you watch it and watch the same flashback over and over. <laughs> Yo, Bardock, though. Uh... <laughs> Num- number nine, World's Strongest. Number eight, Bojack Unbound. Uh, number seven, an Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. Uh, number, <laughs> number six, Cooler's Revenge. Number five, Fusion Reborn. Number four, Lord Slug. And then the trifecta, the ultimate definitive Dragon Ball 
productions you must watch yep. <laughs> to, to be cultured in any way and accepted into society. Super Android 13 at number three. Mm-hmm. Dead Zone at number two. Yep. And number one, still, yo, Son Goku and his friends return at number one. You just you can't even call yourself a Dragon Ball fan if you haven't seen those three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, Yo Son Goku and Friends Return got a twenty five out of twenty eight from us. Yeah, it's strong. It is. Yeah, like uh, co- according to this, when I said what our worst films are, f- the first five had zeros <laughs> <laughs> or some shit among it, it, four it, people. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was absurd. We're we're not having a great time sometimes, but I'm very happy that Battle of Gods uh, was in the was above the top half. Right? Yeah. It's like oh, this now, was disappointing, but still in the top half. I have to ask the most horrible question I could ever ask on the show. Okay. How does the Bount arc relate to anything in the bottom seven? Uh, oh, oh, man. I <laughs> thought you were going to ask the easier question of which section does it show up. And I'm like, the bottom seven. Now I, you're like, place it among them. And I'm like, uh oh. I feel re- like re- I need re- to finish the Bount arc and then I'll know. Okay. Because right now I feel return of cooler in that, in that general direction. <laughs> but the next set, you know, might go a little higher. All right. Um, sure, but we're, but we're almost out. We're almost out of out of these things to do. That new movie still ain't out yet, so we only have two episodes of Mondo Cool left. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Bound Arc is above Planet Eradicate the Saints, but nothing else. <laughs> yeah, that, that's also yeah. how I feel. Yeah, yeah, there I might like, be a yeah. solution in the Bound Arc that is as dumb as Bio Broly walking into that water. Yeah, how fucked up is it that I'm sitting here and I'm like, I gave Bio Broly a zero. Would probably rather watch that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, 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 that's where it sits. It sits right between Bio Broly and Planet of the Eradicate the Saints. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and we're going to close out what is the longest uh, Mondo Cool of all time uh, by having Bob set up uh, what our next episode is about, the penultimate episode for now of Mondo Cool. Ooh. All right, here we go. <laughs> yes, yes. <sighs> Maximum the Hormone made a song about Frieza, and it was so good. Toriyama wanted to make another movie about him. Dude, dude, dude. That's how Toriyam does things. Next time on Mondo Cool, Dragon Ball Resurrection of Air. <laughs> this movie's air. <ass. laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I can't believe it's the resurrection of air. <laughs> what were, what they, were they thinking? thinking? The executive producers for this month of Gigaboots are Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff. Red Blaze 27, Brendan O'Sullivan, Live Action Muito Real, Completely Normal Adam, Cooper Tank, Zilter, and Virvarm. Thank you very much to our executive producers and also these patrons. If you want to become an executive producer for an obscure but powerful YouTube channel, head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today.